Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your Galaxy S8 faster and save battery life. Now, this takes a couple of different steps, but the first one is always an oldie but a goodie, and that is swiping down, going into settings, swiping all the way up, going to about phone, and then build number. You're going to hit build number repeatedly and then go back and then you will have a new section called developer options. Now developer options is hidden because you can mess up your phone in this section so make sure you only touch the parts where I'm about to tell you to. So when we swipe all the way up we're going to go until we get to the drawing category and in the drawing category you're going to change each of these from 1x to 0.5 so we're going to do each of these for that and then what this does is it makes your phone hey I know you do things in one second but you can actually do them in half a second so everything and how your phone moves is now quicker than it was before now continuing on the settings category you're going to go to advanced features. These are features that are on your phone that you may or may not use depending on who you are or what you want to do with your phone. The best part about this is each of them tells you what they are. So like for one-handed operation, this is a feature I like to turn on and it tells you what it's for to adjust the display size to use for one-handed and it tells you how you want to do it so I can turn it on and it explains this is how you do it with gesture this is how you do it with a button so this is how these work however there are certain ones that I like to turn on these three namely and there are other ones that I definitely want to turn off so the ones that I recommend you turn off are as follows palm to swipe direct call smart alert easy mute these four I recommend turning off uh, to save battery life because if you're not using them they will drain your battery life. I personally like swipe uh, to call and I like video enhancer. It makes your screen brighter and your colors more vivid especially when you're outside. So that is what I recommend. You can turn smart stay on but I believe that will drain it more than help and gaming uh, launcher is useful for gamers. It saves your battery life and optimizes your gaming experience. So for gamers, you would want to turn that on. Okay, now we're also going to make sure that our uh, location doesn't drain by always having Bluetooth on. So your phone will naturally have Bluetooth on even when you're not using it. How do you stop this? You hit search and you type in location. And from here, you go to improve accuracy and you turn off Bluetooth scanning. You can turn on off Wi-Fi scanning. However, Wi-Fi scanning really does make your location come up a lot quicker than just GPS. So I would personally leave that on and turn off this because Bluetooth isn't necessary. All right, so there from here, you can go into display and make sure you have everything you need. First of all, I do not believe in auto brightness simply because auto brightness does drain your battery. If you're worried about battery life, just keep it at like around this kind of percentage, basically 70 to 80%, and that saves you more battery life than always having the sensor on and determining how much battery life you have. Now, by default, your screen is also on a 1080p display, which is fine for most people, so keep it on that if you want to save battery life. However, you can, of course, put it up to the highest screen quality, but most people honestly don't need it. Full screen apps, um, I recommend turning that on. Basically just makes all your apps full screen, but we'll get to that in another video. Other than that, uh, the other thing you might wanna turn off is the edge screen. If you don't plan on using the edge display, and we will go over that in another video, then turn that off. Again, this saves you battery and it saves time. So really great for that purpose. And then make sure this is always on, keep screen off in a dark place such as a pocket or a bag this way your phone doesn't go off when it's in your pocket okay now that we got that out of the way let's get rid of some apps so to get to the app drawer where all of your apps are held you swipe up and these are all your apps 
here's the thing carriers put some nonsense bloatware on all your phones and that slows it down and runs in the background so you're going to want to get rid of all that how you do that is you just hold the uh, app down and then click disable when you do that this stops the phone from having this or uninstall uh, this stops the phone from running in the background and using up all the now there are some that you cannot get rid of unfortunately um, so that would be one of them but we can get rid of direct tv we can get rid of direct tv remote we can get definitely get rid of lookout that one uh, if you, any carrier has that on your phone get rid of it it is the most draining by far and I'll keep uh, my AT&T app, so that means two apps that we're only keeping. For the Google Play Store, I do recommend always uh, saving uh, Gmail and the Google app. By the way, if you want to reorganize these, you can simply drag it. So I think Google should be with the Google folder. Uh, I think Samsung Pay should also be with Samsung, uh, and so on and so forth. So however you want to do it. Um, but always keep the Google app other than that though if you want to get rid of duo that's a video chatting between numbers so if you want to video chat with anyone kind of like FaceTime basically you uh, video chat with them through that app all you need is their phone number and you can video chat with them you also have play movies now most of you probably don't buy your movies from Google if you do then keep it but if you don't then you can get rid of it and again all these run in the background Google photos you want to keep if you didn't check out our must-have uh, apps for this phone that is going to allow you to have unlimited backup on your photos. And Samsung has a lot of apps too. So first of all, I never use Samsung's internet browser, so I would personally disable that if I could. On this phone, you can't. However, you can disable probably Samsung Notes, I'm assuming, let's see. Yep, we can uninstall Samsung Notes, so I would personally get rid of that for sure. The Galaxy App Store is good for certain things, so I personally would keep that. Samsung Health, I think it's a great fitness tracker. If you don't use it, get rid of it. Samsung Gear, if you don't have a Gear smartwatch, you can get rid of it. I do, so I'll keep it. And Samsung Connect makes it easy to connect to smart home products from one app instead of downloading separate apps for all of it. So we also want to get rid of Android Pay because let's face it, uh, that one's definitely outdated and not as useful as Samsung Pay. And then finally, Amazon Shopping. I would download the full Amazon app, which you can download from their website. It's much better than this version. And there we go, we got rid of a lot of apps that we weren't using and now our battery life is going to be much better and the phone will work much better. Other than that, the last thing you can get rid of if you want to is Hello Bigsby. So Hello Bigsby is a permanent screen on your left side that does drain your battery life. If you're not using it, if you don't want to, then get rid of that and that will help out as well. All right, guys, uh, for those of you who are a little bit more tech savvy, I will go over this last part, which is in settings. You can actually go into apps and disable other ones. So like AT&T uh, remote support, that one I can't disable, but basically say if other ones like say Bixby, you can't disable, but if you want to get rid of other ones that you maybe know your stuff and you know you're not going to use it, then feel free to get rid of them. Some you might not think about like, oh, that's an Office editor. If you don't have Microsoft Office on here, then you're gonna wanna keep that. If you do have it on there, then you might not want to. So those are ideas just to keep in mind. Again, I would only disable things from this section if you really know what you're doing. All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. Your phone will run much faster and your battery life will be much better now. So hopefully you did like this video if you did please give a like thumbs up down below if you have any questions about how to do more with this phone such as how to make your phone not overheat or anything like that we will have other videos on that later thank you as always for watching this has been r-i-c-k-y the youtube tech guy